Colin Sillet fut parmi les meilleurs pilotes anglais de sa génération, mais il est aussi connu pour avoir conçu et fabriqué des motos très efficaces. La Sillet Condor marque l'apogée de ses réalisations autour d'un majestueux matchless G50. Frank Chatokin, grand spécialiste des motos anglaises en France, a construit de A à Z une réplique de cette moto et l'a présentée à Colin Sillet au Salon Moto Légende. Colin Hello, how do you feel when you see this bike? Oh, just fantastic, unbelievable, really. Yes. This boy has done a good job, fantastic yes. job. Even uh, he's French. <laughs> well, yes. not, it's, it's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, he's done extremely well, and I'm really pleased for him. Obviously, a lot of work, a lot of commitment. You know, I think it's been like two years doing it. I'm pleased I've come over for the weekend. Uh, and to see this uh, is extremely pleasing. I always admire what other people do in building bikes and things. I appreciate the efforts everybody puts in. You know, Frank's certainly achieved that without question. This, this is lovely. Logo, sticker, says it all. Yes, okay. when, when did I start to build bikes? Yes. We're talking uh, at the end of 65, 1966 okay. time. I, I myself was still racing sidecars, of course, at that period of time. Uh, we built the first bike and then uh, Derek Minter was our first rider, you know. How did you, did you imagine this frame? And I had this saying, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, we did two firstly, one for the 350 and one for the 500. And, and Derek Minter, although he was at the end of his career, uh, was quite successful. But then uh, we had John Blanchard, who's no longer with us, uh, did the 100 mile an hour lap at the TT. But the more important rider was John Cooper. Okay. who still has the very first Sealy G50. And then we, I was always into smaller things, light things, yeah. uh, easier to make, so we possibly could make a little bit of money from doing them, okay. uh, is right. which is always difficult. And so it, the things moved on, and because when you look into the results, all the things that we've done over the years, and we see the back of my second book, you know, we've done all, we've got involved in all sorts of frames, for, and particularly for Barry Sheen, of course, in 73, who won three major championships on Sealy Suzuki's. Okay. So we, we were across the board with all sorts of things, and then done frames for Honda UK and a whole number of things. I decided to do this Condor and in fact it was an American a friend of ours that ordered one and he still has that very bike, the very original bike. So we got the very original bike, this one, and there was uh, six others made. We only made seven altogether. And that was that was 1971 time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's right. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. to see you in France. Yeah, no, thank you. Was, we, we, we planned to come, obviously, anyway. And I uh, sadly we've had all this terrible tr trouble in France. Okay, and to stay away would be wrong. <laughs> Colin Sillet, à bientôt 80 ans, garde sa passion, sa gentillesse et son humilité, alors que son parcours mérite le Hall of Fame, comme disent les Anglo-Saxons. Frank Chatoukine, quant à lui, n'a pas failli à sa réputation avec cette moto magnifiquement réalisée. Le passage de relais est fait.